guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll stay for the entire video, especially if you are looking to start selling on the Poshmark app. I have to add that this video is sponsored by Poshmark and I guess we'll get started with the video. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vicki. I am a mom to two girls, an eight year old and an 18 year old, and we live in Columbia, South Carolina. So for the last 17 years, I have been working in the medical field. I was working as a med tech in an Alzheimer's unit of a facility. And I actually quit that job last month in February so I could start reselling full time on the Poshmark app. So I started selling on Poshmark out of my own personal closet. And within the first week, I made my first sell and I was immediately hooked. I have not stopped selling since then and it has almost been a year may of this year will be my year mark and i really love it this is something that i'm truly passionate about i absolutely love selling on the poshmark app it's made me so much extra money um, in the last year in the last 10 months i've made over ten thousand dollars and that's net earnings that's after fees and i've sold over a thousand items so things are going really well and I should also add that I was reselling part-time. I was literally working a full-time job outside of the home from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. five days a week. So, you know, it's really easy to make the money. You don't have to spend all your time on the app. So since I've already told you what I make and how I started, I'm going to go ahead and get into the steps of starting to sell on Poshmark to make money. And a lot of these steps are very crucial because it, without these steps, you won't be able to make money. I mean, you could, but nowhere near what you're going to probably want to make. So let's get started. All right. Step one is you want to focus on a listing. Your listing is going to be what's going to describe your item. It's going to have a photo of the item and it's going to basically just help your buyer make the final decision on if they're going to want to buy the item or not. So it really is like the number one top step in selling on Poshmark. So for your photos, you want to make sure that you use all of the photos that you're able to. Um, Poshmark allows you to take eight photos and I would say for your photo, you want to take a photo of the front, the back, any flaws, you want your label, your material tag, all of those things should be in a photo for your buyers to see. Also, make sure your photos are well lit. If you need a lighting kit, you can look in the description below and there's a link that goes towards a lighting kit on Amazon that I use in my photos. Um, I do want to show you of what my photos look like when I started selling on Poshmark here <laughs> and what they look like now over here. So as you can see, there's a huge difference. And in the description below, I'm going to link um, a lot of links to my tutorials to help you get your photos to look just like mine. Um, if you prefer to do flat lays, do flat lays, whatever type of photo you want, but make sure that it is appealing to the eye. Make sure it stands out. Make sure it's well lit and um, make sure it's ironed or, you know, not wrinkled and, you know, gross looking. You want it to look professional. So photos, number one, photos. Definitely make sure you have a great photo. You don't want to use your bedroom light when it's dark outside. If you don't have a lighting kit, use natural light. Open up a window between 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. in the afternoon when there's plenty of light and be in an area near that light and you can get good photos. Take advantage of the settings on your camera as well where you can lighten the photo. Um, you don't want to lighten it so much that it washes the photo out, but just enough to where it brightens it up. All right. The next step is your title. You want to make sure that your title is clear, tells exactly what the item is. I see a lot of titles that are like pink, uh, pink furry dress or striped shirt. You don't want a title like that. You want to have the brand name, what it is. That's the biggest thing to have the brand name, what type, and then what it is. So say, um, uh, I don't know, a Marona striped um, strapless top. So you want to make sure that you use as many of the characters in the title as you can. Use color, size, whatever you can to fill it up. You want to make sure that your buyer knows exactly what it is. Because I'm going to be honest with you, as a shopper myself on the Poshmark app, 
I see a lot of that and I just skip right on by it. I think it's more convenient if I'm looking for a certain brand to actually see that brand in the title. So make sure you always list the brand name in the title as well as what it is that you're selling of that brand. As for your description, you want to make sure that you move the title into the description. Make sure you put the size, the color, list any flaws with the item. If it's in good condition, you know, you want to make sure that they're aware of that. You can also add any kind of features that the item has that might help them. You know, if it has a side zipper or it has concealed buttons, you might want to list those types of things in your description. The next thing that you also want to list in your description, which is imperative for an online buyer of clothing, measurements. You want to put measurements in your listings. I cannot tell you how many times I have been asked for measurements whenever I fail to put measurements in my listings. Um, people want measurements. They're buying online, so they can't try the clothes on. So the closest thing that they can get is measurements. So they can actually measure themselves at home compared to your measurements, and then they'll have a better chance of buying your item if everything works out well in the measurement department. So make sure that you add measurements. The next part of your listing would be your pricing. You want to make sure that your pricing is not extremely high and you don't want it to be extremely low. When people see really low prices on a really nice item, they immediately think there must be something wrong with it. Okay, I do it. I'm sure you've done it and plenty of other people have. So you don't want to price too low. What you want to do is you want to check the market. You want to see what other people are pricing the item at. You don't want to have a top for $80 whenever there's seven other sellers with the exact same top for $60 less than you. Because obviously nobody's going to buy your top. They're going to buy the cheaper ones that are, you know, in good shape. So you want to make sure that you are kind of in line with everybody else on the market. You know, you can filter by size. There's a lot of research that needs to be done. And, you know, Google is an amazing tool to use to research. And I really feel that if you're going to start selling online, that you should definitely research how to write proper titles, what should you put in your description, how to price your items. Those things are going to really help you to understand how selling online works because there is a lot of competition of the same items. And if you want your item to sell, you've got to make sure that your item, your photos, your listing is going to stand out compared to the other people. All right, so that is step one, your listing. All right, so let's say you've got all of your items listed. You wanna to try to get as close to 100 items as, as you can, okay? So step number two is list, 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 and list. You want to list as often as you can. I would say at least one item a day. I typically list on most days, three to five items a day, sometimes even more. It just depends on how much I have to list. Make sure you're constantly adding new items to your closet. That's gonna make sure that you're gonna be featured in the feed. People are gonna see that, they're gonna click on it, and then they're gonna look at the rest of your closet. So you have more eyes on your closet when you're constantly listing. So step number two is list as much as you can. The more you list, the more you will sell. All right, step number three is share your closet. Poshmark is the type of app, it's not like eBay where you can just leave your stuff and let it sell. On Poshmark, you need to be active, you need to be social. It's a social platform, so you need to share your items. I feel that self-shares are more important than any type of share there is, but community shares are important too. And if you're not familiar with a community share is, it's where you share another person's item to the feed. So say I share your item, you would click that link that says that I shared your item and then you're going to share my item as a thank you. Um, but yeah, self-sharing, make sure you are self-sharing at least, I would say at a minimum three times a day. So there are parties that they have where the most people are on the app. So I typically share an hour before the party, during the party, and then two hours after the party. And that's just how I do it throughout the day. I do share a lot. Um, as I said, this is my full-time job now. So that is part of my job, is sharing as much as I can, getting my items out there. All right, step number four <laughs> is going to be utilize the offer to likers in your Poshmark app. So if you've noticed, there is a little section that says offer to likers. And honestly, that's probably the most amazing tool. If somebody likes one of your items, you can immediately offer them a cheaper price or a shipping discount. 
So if you use the actual offer to likers, you have to give them a shipping discount and take a percentage off. If you send them a private offer, which is where you'll go to their bundle on their page, you'll switch to sell view and then you can add the item that they like to that bundle. I'll put a, a link in the description below to help you learn how to do that. But you can actually just offer them the price that you already have it at with just a shipping discount instead of doing percentage off. Um, definitely utilize that. Most all of my sales are from offers. And step number five, I would say get on social media, get an Instagram account, start communicating and uh, getting to know other poshers on the Instagram app. Um, there's a lot to learn. Um, there's It's very supportive. The whole community, they all come together, they help each other, they share tips and tricks. You are able to take photos of the new listings that you have on Poshmark to direct people to your listings. So you have to think there's a lot of people on social media that you can, you know, advertise your, your items to and they're going to come check your closet out. So definitely utilize the share settings in the Poshmark app where you can share to Twitter or you can share to Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat. Um, that's definitely going to get your item seen by more eyes than you would be able to have just in the Poshmark app. So those are my five steps for making money on the Poshmark app. If you have any questions whatsoever, be sure to ask them in the comment section below, or you can contact me on Instagram at Allie Bethany, and you can send me a direct message, and I will be happy to talk with you and give you any kind of tips and tricks that I can help you with. So I hope that helps you make a decision on whether you want to sell on Poshmark. Um, there's so much more I could tell you, but we'll be here all day. It's a great app. It's full of amazing people, um, a lot of amazing items. I mean, if you're going to be a buyer on the app, you're going to catch some amazing deals. So definitely check it out. Um, you can use the link below and that'll take you straight to the app to download. All right, so that's it for the video. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you on the next. Bye.